What is up, Dallas Cowboys fans? Any Car Tim here for the Fist Report YouTube channel and CowboysSI.com. Wanted to pop in here with you shortly just to break down. I know Fish has covered it a little bit today, and we've definitely covered it over at CowboysSI.com, but wanted to talk about the recent additions to the COVID reserve list by the Cowboys. Uh, of course, we know that Michael, Par uh, Michael Parsons' pursuit of that rookie sack record uh, is now hit a snag. Has now hit a snag because he will not be able to play in Week 18. Uh, due to being added to the COVID list. So the sack record is safe, uh, but of course he's not concerned with that. He's more concerned with uh, the Lombardi Trophy, as he has mentioned several times uh, to several people. But he's not going to be the only one missing the game on Saturday against the Eagles, as both Tyron Smith and Anthony Brown have been added to the COVID list along with Parsons. All will miss Saturday's game against the Eagles, and it might get worse before it gets better because apparently there's a number of players that have felt ill at practice this week and have been sent home. They are pending COVID tests. Um, so they're trying to keep everybody healthy, not necessarily for Saturday's game, but for games beyond that. So Terrence Still and Ty Nizeki will be rotating and subbing for Smith on the offensive line. Um, and we know the defense isn't quite the same without Parsons and without Brown. That offensive line certainly is not the same without Smith, but the Cowboys are going to have to make do with what they have. So it's it's a the Cowboys' place as the fourth seed cannot get worse and it cannot get better, uh, regardless of what happens in Philadelphia. But really, you want the Cowboys to win that game, don't you? Especially with what happened against the Cardinals and the fact, as we have discussed here several times. In the past couple of weeks, the Cowboys have yet to really have a meaningful win this season against a good team, uh, especially late this season. So that said, you really need not just a good performance, you need a win, you need some momentum. Because if you lose, if the Cowboys go in and lose against the Eagles, they've got zero momentum and probably even less confidence now headed into the playoffs. And, uh, you know, you're probably going to face that same Carol uh, Cardinals team. And... You know, with uh, with all the stigma behind Kyler Murray and his record there and his performance there since he was in high school, you know, it might be a monkey on the Cowboys' back a little bit to uh, to be able to beat him here in, at AT&T Stadium. But um, really, everybody needs to be concerned with being healthy beyond the Eagles game at the start of the playoffs. And you really, you're going to need Parsons. You're going to need uh, Smith. You're going to need Brown. You're going to need all these guys healthy and ready to play uh, to do everything they can do to get that at least a first play round. You've got to have a first-round playoff win, right? I mean, what a huge disappointing season this would be. And if you're going to face the Cardinals, don't know about you guys, but I don't feel too good about that right now. That's why you need a big win in Philadelphia. You need to build some confidence. Dak's got to build some confidence with the passing game, with his footwork. Uh, receivers need to build some confidence catching the ball and not dropping it. And really, every, like I said, everybody needs a good performance against the Eagles, if nothing else, to build some confidence going in to the uh, into the playoffs. So that's where we're at now. We'll update you here as, as more details become available with these other players that have felt ill. If anybody else gets added to the list, Fish or I will pop on here, or probably both of us pop on here, let you know about it. Too much information is better than not enough, right? It's kind of our, our motto here. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment. Uh, like the video. Find me on Twitter. I'm at IndyCarTim. We'll talk to you about it there as well. But until next time, we'll see you.